Hey, I first made these after having an epic failure trying to make some White Castle type sliders on my Blackstone griddle. Rewind. I burnt the onions, scorched the buns after trying to cook off all the meat coagulant, and overall they turned out pretty badly. I knew there was an easier way to get a delicious little burger that both my kids and my neighbors would love. You're here because you enjoy craft beer, good food, and old friends. Keep watching the channel and learn how to brew great beer, cook tasty food, and be the glue that binds your neighborhood. All right, gather your tools. I grab my scale from the brewery, some wax burger paper, and a pound or more of 80-20 meat and a container to put the meat in. Put some paper on the bottom of the container and also a piece on the scale. Weigh out one and a half ounce of meat, loosely roll it into a ball and add it to your container and then repeat. You should get about 10 good ones for a pound of meat, maybe 11. The 11th will be a little bit smaller. I like using Hawaiian rolls for the bun. Go ahead and separate them all and slice them open with a bread knife. Butter both the top and the bottom and sprinkle a little garlic powder on, on top of the butter. That stuff's really gonna make a difference. Oh, and don't forget to cut the cheese. Actually, you can use uh, a slice of American cheese and just fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Plan on putting two of those little slices on each slider later. Now fire up your griddle and set it up on a medium high heat on one side and the other side you're gonna, you're gonna keep off and that'll just be the warm side. Place four more balls on the griddle. Cover a ball with a piece of wax paper and then use a spatula and then your scraper to smash that ball down. Uh, you're gonna smash it down for 10 seconds and then repeat the process and season with SPG or salt, pepper, garlic. Start loading up your buns, butter side down, on the warm side of the griddle. The closer you move them to the meat side, the quicker they're gonna toast up. They can get away from you pretty quickly. I've, I've burnt quite a few in the past, so just keep an eye on them. Once the slider is about 80% cooked through, use your spatula to scrape underneath each slider. Hold it at a 45 degree angle, and it's important technique so you don't lose any of the char off the bottom of the slider. Flip the slider and then add your cheese. Now things are just about done. After about a minute, grab a bun and put a slider on each. There are no rules on how you doctor these delicious two to three bite sandwiches up. I like putting a little curry ketchup on the top bun, some QP mayo on the bottom, and a pickled jalapeno on the uh, top of the cheese. It's definitely something I'm proud to share. But don't limit yourself. My friends like all sorts of stuff on theirs. Chili with pickled jalapenos, pimento cheese and pickled onions, guacamole, onion and chipotle crema, even fried spam and sriracha mayo. No rules, whatever you do, just be the glue that binds your neighborhood. Hey, now that you saw that cool video on how to make sliders, why don't you check out one of our other videos about how to make smash burgers, or perhaps check out one of our videos on brewing beer. Gotta try it, all right.